Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Take video. So today I'm going to be teaching you on how to make your own game teleport command. So if you don't know what a game teleport command is, that's totally fine. I'm just going to give you an example over here inside of Roblox. So you can see if we go to our chat and we type in slash event, keep in mind that you'll be able to customize all of the stuff here. So you'll be able to customize the command and all of that stuff. And then we press enter if we wait a few seconds it will automatically teleport us to the cookie tech event center so keep in mind you won't need to set it to teleport you to the cookie tech event center you can set it to whatever you want but you can see this is a completely different game this is not the same game i've gone to a different game so let's head over back to roblox studio where i'll be showing you where to go from there Okay, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio and to start off you just need to click base plate to continue and then I'll be showing you what to add in from there. So if you head over to your service group service, which is right over here on the right, I'll just give it a second for my studio to load in. And let's just close this plugin. Let's make this a little bigger. We're going to add a new script in service script service and then I'm just going to call this game teleport command and then we're going to start off by putting a few variables into our script like we always do. To start off we're going to get the teleport service. This teleport service will allow us to teleport players in between games. So we're going to do this by saying local teleport service equals game get service teleport service. Next of all we need to get our game ID. So we're going to just put local game id equals and then let's just put zero here now we're going to need to configure this so where we put game id is where we want the player to teleport to so let's say we want them to teleport over to let's think of a game let's just say let's do a game on the front page and then let's just set this game let's say we want to send them over to bed balls. so to get the game id we basically need to look for this number inside of the URL. Here we have a number. All numbers on the games will be different, but that's okay. You're just going to double click on it. It'll be quite long and it'll be in between games slash and then there'll be the number and then do not copy anything afterwards. So it will be just the number that you're copying. We're going to right click. We're going to copy. Then we're going to head back to studio and then we're going to replace the zero with this number. So now you can see we have our game ID down, we need to detect when a player runs a command. So to detect when a player runs a command, we're going to have to detect when they join. So we're going to drop a few lines, and then we're going to say added connect function player. So when the player joins, we're going to run some code, and then we're going to get the player that just joined. So we're going to get the player object that joined. Then we need to detect when the player chats. So we're going to say player chatted connect function and then in here we're going to put our brackets and then we're going to say message and then we're going to drop a line so when they chat a message we're going to get the message and now we're going to say if message equals then string then and now we need to edit what's inside of this string so here we're going to put in our command so if you wanted to link this to your training center you could set the command to slash train. If you wanted to link it to your application center, you could set it to slash apply. But I want to link it to bed walls, so I'm just going to put slash bed walls, so it's a clear command. And I'm just going to make sure that there are no typos there. Looks good to me. And now we need to simply run the code that will teleport the player. So this code is really simple. It's the most simple code. And we just need to say teleport service, teleport, and in here we need to put the place ID as we can see it's listed here and that's the game ID so we're going to put in game ID then we're going to put our comma and now we need to get the player instance which we defined above which is player and then we're going to paste it in now what we're going to do is we're going to publish this game so you can press alt p like I just did or you can go file publish to roblox as and then I'm going to create a brand new game and I'm just going to call this teleport command and then inside brackets, I'm going to put bed walls. Then I'm going to create it. It should save. And then I'm going to head over to Roblox, where I put the game. 
you can see it will be inside of create. So let's just click on the create button. Here it is, teleport command bed walls. We're going to click on that. And then we're just going to click play. Now if we load into the game, it might take a second to do that. We can then run with the command and it should teleport us over to the game. Okay, we're loading in. And now all we need to do is run the slash bedwalls command. So I'm just going to head over to studio so I remember what command I put down. So I put slash bedwalls. Let's copy that so we can paste it into chat. Head back to our game. And now if we run slash bedwalls, we should teleport. Teleport failed due to an unexpected error. Okay, that's interesting. So if you didn't know how to see logs inside of your game, you can press F9 on your keyboard and it will show up the commands, or the logs in fact. Or you can press escape and then go over to settings, scroll down to the bottom and if you're the owner or have developer permissions in the game, you can click open and you can see here we have the logs. So let's go to server since that's where our script is located. Or we can still look in client. Ah, cannot teleport to place created by third party with teleport protections enabled on this universe. Okay, so here's what's happening. If you get this error, there's a super simple fix for it. Since I don't own the Bed Wars game, there's a security feature that stops people teleporting from my game to games that I don't own. So this is just a security feature. However, it doesn't need to be enabled, so we can exit out of the net game by leaving. And then we just need to go to game settings by home, game settings, then we need to head over to security, and then we need to allow third party teleports. By enabling, players can be teleported to other games, however teleports between places in this game and between games owned by the same creator will be permitted. Let's click the green toggle button, let's click save, now we need to make our changes save to the game, so we're going to put file, publish to Roblox and then that should do the trick. So now, if we head over back to the other thing, and then we click the play button, this command should work. So let's just give it a second. Okay, we are inside of the game. Now let's try running the command. Let's paste it in. Slash bed walls, and let's run it. Oh, and look, we're getting teleported over to the Bedwar server. So, thank you for tuning in today. Keep in mind, all the scripts in this video can be found in the description down below. I hope you have an excellent time. Thank you for tuning in. That's all from me, and bye bye